doing. It's not a mathematical betting system so much. It's a, a test on whether your ma mathematical betting systems are accurate or not, or reliable. So the chi-squared test is based uh, around looking at um, the statistical significance of outcomes. And so the Archie score is something that's been developed on the back of that, um, more for sports betting primarily horse racing and can be adapted into football. So it's really useful for us to have a look at. We're going to be using the MBM draw system to test it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So the Archie score or chi-squared um, test, it's, uh, it's used to test statistical significance of data. So, to so we can tell whether the outcomes are um, reliable based on a, on a series of sort of mathematical models. Um, so yeah, it determines the probability that a system is based on luck or chance to give you a sort of better understanding of whether the system that you're looking at is going to fluctuate wildly with luck. Um, you know, if you flip a coin 50 times in a row, it could land on heads 50 times in a row, but that would be massively down to luck and you're not going to sort of gain much knowledge from knowing that uh, in terms of how good, how well the system will, will perform in the long run. Um, and this is the sort of thing that we're talking about. We want to know whether... We're just going to have a luck-based system, which is not going to be any good in the long term for football betting or trading, or whether we've got statistical significance that allows us to have a reliable long view at what might happen in the future. So it's based on the chi-squared test, and it was originally adapted for horse racing, which a lot of the models that we use in football betting uh, originated somewhere along the line in horse racing, as it's such a huge betting market and there's so much data out there and data modelling done on horse racing, but it can be adapted for football. Um, basically, a low Archie score means there's a high probability of luck or chance in the system and in the results, uh, so the outcomes are heavily based on luck. If you get a high Archie score, then it means it's a more statistically sound system and it can be relied on going forward to return logical and expected results. So that doesn't mean winning results. I don't mean expected results in terms of you're going to get what you expect, as in if you're modelling, it's going to draw, you're going to get a draw. I mean, it's going to return um, results that you would be able to um, rely on and sort of, um, how can I say, not not expect is probably a bad word, isn't it? But it's going to, it's going to return logical results. It's going to follow a, a path of, um, a, a sort of common path, the results will um, make sense. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm going around the houses there. Um, you get more accurate data with larger data sets, which is obvious with all systems, uh, and we'll see that a little bit later on. So briefly, here is the um, the Archie score formula. I know this will look horrible to a lot of people. It does to me, to be honest, uh, take you back to those school days. We'll break it down real quick. It's not as complicated as it looks. So A here is the Archie score. So we're saying the Archie score equals this. So it equals R times W minus E squared divided by E times R minus E. Now, I've put that in below, uh, put a sort of key, and you can see that R equals runners because it was based on horse racing. So to us, that'll be number of bets, so number of fixtures in our data set, multiplied by W minus E. So W is the winning bets, so how many times the draw came in, in our case, uh, minus E, which is the expected winners, which is the total probability. So that's all of the fixtures that we've got. You take the odds for those fixtures, so the odds on the draw, um, and add up the probability of all of them, and that's your number there. You'll see it better in the next clip. Um, and then E is the expected, so yeah, E is expected winner. So we can see that we've got R times W minus E, so we've got runners times the winners minus the expected winners squared divided by the expected winners times the amount of runners minus the expected winners. Yeah, I know, it's pretty long-winded. Now, if we have a quick look at this, this is what the Archie score looks like in terms of what you would expect um, if you if you get an Archie score of that, what the likelihood of chance or luck being involved in your outcomes. So if you get a very low Archie score, 0 0.3, 0 0.51, as you can see, 58% chance of luck. So it's not a reliable system going forward. Uh, all the way down to the other end of the scale, 8.5, less than 1% chance of luck, 1%. So two and a half, eleven percent chance of luck, and so you can see how that ranges. So you can see why we're looking for a low Archie score to be um, to rule out a system, if you like. So if we're looking to see whether we want to carry on with the system, if we see a low Archie score, we're probably not going to pursue it too much or throw money on it. Um, whereas a high Archie score means it's something that you might want to explore further and sort of test with small stakes potentially. Uh, so if we have a look at this next clip now, 
we'll see how it applied to the September results for the MBM draw system. So here we're going to take a look at the Archie score for September uh, 2022 on the MBM draw system, which has been well documented on my channel. And we'll have a look by applying the probability, as we see here, is something that's needed in the um, in the calculation, the total probability. So we've added that column, which is simply um, found by one divided by the decimal odds. So it's the probability of that happening. And then we had add it all up and we get this figure here of 19.259. The total number of runners or matches in our case is 63. That's the total number of bets that were made during September. 12 winners. It was a poor month for the MBM draw system, really. Um, you can see it would have been 24 with the yellows. I can't help but harp on about that. But for the, <laughs> for the purpose of this, 12 winners. So that's the winners. The expected winners um, is the probability. And the total is the 63. So if we have a look at that and look at how it worked in the system or in the formulation. So I've called this first equation and second equation. It means the first part of the equation and the second part of the equation, just to make it easier for me to, to sort of model. So we can see here, if I click on that, we've got um, A65, which is the total number of runners. Then we've got, that's then multiplied by B, which is the total number of wins, minus the total uh, probability. Uh, squared so it was this minus this calculation squared and that's what we get here and the second part of the equation is a little bit simpler so that was just um, e65 so that the probability uh, times the total number of matches minus the probability and then you divide those two and what we get is 3.940 for the Archie score so if we look back at the at the list of probabilities um, and their their chance of luck or the likelihood of it being luck, that comes out. I think it's between um, it's between five and eight percent. I think if you flip back and have a look at that, so five and eight percent chance of it being luck, which isn't too bad really, is it? I think that's you know I'm quite happy with that at the time of recording. I'm quite happy with um, that being sort of a very low chance of luck. Um, this wasn't one of our better months either, so I'll be interested to see what it's like for the whole of the uh, Poisson distribution. Uh, what am I about? For the whole of the MBM draw system since last November. <laughs> I'll be interested. I actually know because we've already done it. And um, we'll have a look at that in a second. So that's that's how the system works, uh, the formula works. And if we have a look at this next slide, we'll see how it how it pans out. So having look at looked at that latest uh, the last clip. We can just quickly put this into the context of the formula that we saw. So as we saw in the video, we've got 63 being the total number of matches multiplied by 12, which was the total amount of winners, minus 19.259 squared, uh, which was the total probability. So it's 63 times 12 minus 19.259 squared. I know it's a bit long, you've got to make sure you do it in the right order. That's why the brackets and the squared are there, uh, to make sure that the calculation is done properly. Um, then you divide that by... 19.259 again, which is the probability, multiplied by the amount of games minus the probability. I know, I know. And that gives us an Archie score of 3.940, as we saw in the last clip. So if we flick over now to Archie for all months, so going back to November 2022, uh, sorry, 2021, to the current month of September, um, we'll be able to see what it looks like a much bigger data set so we're over 900 games um, in total so we can see how the Archie score works with a data set of more significance so let's have a look so we've got all the games here but I've grouped them so we don't have to sort of scroll through them all to get to the bottom 960 games in total 328 winning bets and the cumulative total of all of the probability is 282.409 so as you can see much bigger numbers that we're using now obviously from the previous example of just September and if we have a look at how that sort of comes out Again, did the first equation and the second equation separately or second parts of the equation. Won't go through those massively because the numbers don't make much sense. But what we do come out with is an Archie score of 10.428, which is brilliant. I wasn't expecting the Archie score to be that high. Um, you'll remember from previous uh, clip that anything above 8 um, was just classed as less than 1% chance of probability being... Uh, down to look um, or of the outcome being down to look or chance. So 10.428 is brilliant. Um, I was worried that it would be lower. Um, so 
would I still have released the video? I don't know. No, I would. But yeah, 10.428. So I was expecting, to be honest, I was expecting somewhere around 7 or 8. I was hopeful for 7 or 8. Um, so I'm delighted with 10.428. It just shows that even though we hit bumps in the road and we don't always get the runs that we want and we get sort of 10, 11, 12, 13 games sometimes without a win, it's not down to luck that we are getting back on track, which is what a lot of people think. A lot of people might think, oh, well, you're going to get lucky eventually. It's like sort of, um, you know, sod's law that eventually you're going to you're gonna get a, a win. Um, but it, it's not It's not that. It's not luck. It is based on data. It's based on statistical significance. And when we do get back to it, we have got a, 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 a just as good chance of sort of winning five in a row as we have of losing five in a row. And that's not down to luck. That's down to the fact that the system works, basically. Um, and what this doesn't tell you, and what I'm not claiming, this doesn't claim that the system is going to make you money all the time and that your draws are going to come in and that your bets are going to come in. What it's saying is the system works in a way that is logical and that is based on data and not based on luck. So it doesn't mean that a score of 10 means that you're always going to win your bets and you're going to sort of be a millionaire in a year. That's not what the Archie score does. The Archie score is telling you how reliable the actual method is the actual system not how good it is at getting results and i hope that makes sense that because that's a, a distinction that you need to make um it's not going to tell you that you're you've got a winning system it's going to tell you that you've got a system that is based on logic and statistical significance not based on luck then the next step is to find a system that is statistically significant like this and also returns profits um which we do but that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about the archer score so um i think it's really good it's really interesting um i think if you've got systems of your own then it'll be good to run them uh, run the archer score against them to see if they're worth pursuing or if you should perhaps um carry on paper trading until you get your archer score up a little bit whether you're ready if you've got a score of sort of 10 like this to start putting small stakes on you know i think it's just another tool that can help you on your journey to um, find successful betting systems and that's what we're all trying to do isn't it um, I think a lot of us who are watching uh, you are watching the video members of my community not necessarily all about making millions of pounds don't get me wrong I'd love to like <laughs> you know I know we all would love to but there is a sort of uh, it's almost like a hobby isn't it it's a fun element of being able to crack a system that sort of returns um, good results and good sort of has a good strike rate and digging into the maths behind it and sort of trying to model it and change it going forward for different markets. And I think this Archie score is, is very good for um, helping you decide which ones to pursue and which ones not to pursue. But you've got to have a big enough data set. September alone wasn't really big enough. Um, but I thought I wanted to show you how the how the significance changes from such a small data set to a much bigger data set. And that just shows you, you could be thrown away, to be fair. You could do it after one month and you could get a score of three and think, well, I'm only going to continue with a system that's got a score of eight plus, and you could throw it away. Whereas if you'd have kept it for 12 months, you'd get a score of 10 like this. And so you've got to be careful not to just throw the baby out with the bathwater and get rid of everything after a month. You've got to give it a good enough sort of run. But if you're still getting scores of ones and twos after nine months, then it's probably not going to be worth pursuing any longer, is it? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, let's get back to the video. So we can now see how the total, uh, all of the MBM draw results from November to September, how that fits into the formula. I won't take long on it because we've already done it for September, but you can see it's the 960 matches times the winning bets of 328 minus 292.409 squared, which is the probability total. Divide that by the probability total times the number of matches minus the probability total and we get an archie score of 10.428 which is brilliant and i think we'll leave that there for the I hope you found that interesting i certainly did i'm delighted with the results uh, as they came out for the mbm draw system i hope that you can see now for anybody that was sort of doubting the system i'm not saying it's 100 percent going to make you profit but it is built on statistical significant on proper data and it is a reliable data a reliable system going forward in terms of it will return consistent results if not results in terms of winning results it will return consistent outcomes um, and it's something that you can plan for and something when you're looking at your betting portfolio that you need to be aware of uh, so anybody who wants to get involved head over to the math betman uh, website for a 10 pound month um, 
enter YouTube turn at checkout. It won't be lasting forever. Well, it might be if enough people sign up. Um, but yeah, go over and check it out. Please like and subscribe. I don't always beg it, but it does really help. It's annoying, but it does help the channel and it helps my videos get seen. The more my videos get seen, the more people hopefully will subscribe to the NBM Draw system, meaning the price will come down. If you're not aware of what I'm on about with that, check out my latest video um, that says, actually it'll be on the screen here at the end. So check it out and make sure you sort of familiarise yourself with the, the method that we're using in terms of decreasing the price the more people that sign up. And I'm hoping the community-led pricing will work. So check out the video if you're not aware. Please like and subscribe.